Hey everybody, it's Tina from The Lover's Conjure and we're gonna do the collective read. <clears throat> Spirit Guides Universe, Guardian Angels and Ancestors, this reading is for the collective. Please allow me to be a clear channel for their messages. Thank you. Hi, collective. <laughs> How are you guys doing? Hope everybody's doing good. Staying positive, keeping that vibration high. All right. Don't let anything lower your vibration, collective. Super important message, okay? Let's see what's going on. Page of Wands could be dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Pages are messengers. <clears throat> the wands are fire or passion or something coming in very, very quickly. The Hierophant. Okay. Taurus energy. The Hierophant is something official, stable, or committed. <clears throat> it can be... Um, you could be hearing about a job offer that you're really excited about. It could be um, a romantic proposal that you're really excited about. It could be somebody um, wanting to commit or even get married, something like that. So let's see what's going on here. The moon reversed. Pisces energy. The moon is, you know, about secrets. And, and the really cool thing with this card is the reversal is uh, kind of shows you what, what, what I mean. So when the moon is upright, there's illusions, right? Things are hidden behind the shadow of the moon. Um, it's, you know, difficult to see things the way that they, they truly are. When you look at the card here, you've got the witch, you've got the cat drinking from the pond, blah, blah, blah. Right? And then we look at it in the reverse, everything changes, right? You see the truth. You know what you're dealing with. You know what you're up against, right? It's, um something much bigger than you originally anticipated. It's, um, you know, it's um, scary, you know? <laughs> well, I mean, what else do you call like a panther or a tiger? I wouldn't want to walk up on this guy at night, you know? No, um, because it's dangerous, you know? And I think that's what a lot of you guys have realized is like, wow, there's a hidden danger here that I didn't realize existed um, before. <clears throat> The Knight of Wands reverse, somebody behaving very immaturely. This is my like um, hot, cold, in and out. This is like, you know, somebody behaving like a 12 year old child who didn't get their way. I don't know. It's um, it's very immature energy. Somebody who's indecisive. Um, somebody who did something um, erratic or irresponsible. Usually what I see there. The sun reversed, okay, could be dealing with a Leo, could be children involved. Um, when the sun's reversed, it's usually there's some unhappiness in the situation, something like that. King of Pentacles reversed, let me see. Two of Swords reversed, and then the Hanged Man, indecisiveness, inability to move forward. The Knight of Swords reversed, again, very erratic energy, very, um, very much an energy of chaos, you know, of being conflicted, of being indecisive. Um, let me do some clarifiers here and we'll get the full story. Oh, Psychic Intuition Oil. You can get a free sample, every product purchase in the month of May in my Etsy shop, link in the description. All right, so.
Okay, Page of Wands. Um, this definitely can be about work with the Three of Pentacles. Um, again, that, that would be a, a message with the Hierophant, like you got the job, you're getting promoted, something positive about work or uh, career. Um, if it's about love and relationships, this would be like hearing from someone that they want to work things out, particularly if you're in a committed relationship or a marriage. Um, let me see. The Five of Swords, there was a lot of drama, a lot of conflict. Um, Five of Swords energy is one of my least favorite energies because it, you know, it really depicts someone, um, in my opinion, taking something that, you know, doesn't belong to them. Um, feeling entitled, I guess, is what I mean. Um, there's entitlement here. Why? What's going on there? There's drama. King of Swords reversed. Again, this can be somebody's blocked. They're, they're unable to communicate. Somebody lied. Somebody was deceptive. King of Swords reversed. Or somebody said something unforgivable. Like, you can't come back from that. Um, let me see. Or, or there's legal issues that maybe prevent you from being together. Like a restraining order or some sort of court-related matter. Let me see what else. It, it could be if you got the job offer. Like, you're really excited about it. But... Um, maybe you're not sharing that m news with everyone because there's someone who's jealous um, or it's going to start some drama or chaos in some way. Let me see. Justice reverse Libra energy. More indicators of like a legal or court matter. Again, this can be marriage. It could be whatever, you know. Um, but but really, you know, with Knight of Pentacles reverse, that's Earth sign energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Someone was noncommittal. The, the relationship was one-sided. Something was unfair or unjust. Um, I keep getting this entitlement energy. It's almost like someone felt like they were too good for you. Like they deserved better. The hanged man, it's their ego that keeps them um, hung up. Once, one more, please. Okay, so if this is a work rela relationship, yeah. Knight of Cups reversed, Eight of Cups reversed. Hey, okay, so if it's a work thing, I mean, it really looks like a lot of you guys have good news at work, good news coming in, um, et cetera. And um, th there's, there's a feeling like I can't share this openly. I can't celebrate. I can't, I'm conflicted about this. Somebody's not going to be happy, whether it's a coworker or a friend or a spouse or whoever, for whatever reason, you know, it's almost like, um, maybe somebody was going to move and, uh, then you get a big promotion and it's like, shit, well, no, we're not moving anymore. You know, my spouse is going to be really upset or, um, you know, somebody, uh, was, Yeah, somebody was going to leave the company. Um, they had an offer, a better offer elsewhere. And uh, it's like the employer made an offer for them to stay, like a better, you know, up the ante, I guess, to keep you. Um, something along those lines. Eight of Cups reverses something returning back to the past. Again, love life, guys. It's hard to say. I mean, it does look like someone is coming back, but there's so much conflict and drama surrounding this whole situation. It looks very one-sided. I don't, I don't know. I mean, there could be legal matters around this, money-related issues. Uh, whatever this person from the past is bringing romantically, Knight of Cups reversed, again, false, false, false. I don't trust the Knight of Cups reversed. They're, they're like the Tinder swindler. They really are. So like, be careful. Okay, could be Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, the moon reversed. Again, what's this Tinder swindler bringing? Or what's this like jealous, you know, friend or family member with the work situation thing happening? What's going on there? Oh, he's going to be sorry. He's sorry about that. An apology again, more Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. Maybe they want to take you out on a date. Maybe they want to, um, maybe your boss is like, listen. You know, I really care about you and I look at you like family, right? Like I can't, um, 
you know, pay you what they're paying you, but, but I really care about you and I'll, I'll, I'll make it up to you in some other way. You know what I mean? Like they want to give you like every Friday off or something like that to, you know, to make up for, for whatever new pay. Um, that could be part of it. Right. But then if it's the romantic side of things, again, usually the page of cups I see as either I'm, I'm asking someone out on a date or it's an apology. Since we're looking at it from somebody from the past, I would imagine it's an apology for a lot of you, but let's clarify. <laughs> Ace of Swords, Reverse. Okay, somebody's blocked or there's more deception. What is the Ace of Swords reversed? The moon reversed again, again. Death reversed, Queen of Wands reversed. You guys, I'm getting spirit guide energy. I really am. I'm getting like your spirit guides are protecting you, uh, most definitely. So you've got the Queen of Wands reverse. Your one of your spirit guides is pissed off, particularly you know feminine energy, woman energy. Maybe a redhead person or a fire sign or somebody that was just fiery or feisty in life that has that personality. But um, I'm definitely getting you know this person is wherever this offer is, whatever this you know apology is, it's insincere. Um, it's not. It's not good enough, right, for your spirit guides. They're like, no, <laughs> you're not gonna come forward until you have a real, you know, like apology, unless you really mean it, you know what I mean? And so they're blocking this person from communicating with you. Now, some of you, you know that because you've blocked them on everything, right? You've blocked them on the phone, the social media, you just don't have any desire to talk to them. Maybe you've changed your number, right? That could be, um, but others of you, you you haven't right but spirits like intervening it's, it's like divine intervention <laughs> ace of swords reverse the moon reverse it's like bam bam you know like um the phone tower falls down or the satellite shifts in the you know in orbit or you know the call drops or something happens ace of swords reversed the the line of communication is cut your spirits are like nope cut hey bye because they don't they're they're protecting you from that energy so any missed calls and Mercury retrograde, guys, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. If you don't catch the call, there's a reason. There's no coincidences in life, okay? That's my opinion. Keep it. Keep it moving. Death reversed. Something is trying to resurrect. Something's trying to come back to life. That's what's hidden in the communication. Now, Scorpio energy, Pisces energy, a lot of that. A rebirth. A lot of times with death, something is renewed. It could also be that someone's just holding on to that last, last, you know, tiny bit of hope trying, you know, to hold on to it by a thread so that it doesn't die, you know, meaning the relationship or whatever it is. Queen of Swords reversed. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. The Hermit, Virgo energy. Again, I'm seeing blockages by spirit guides, my friends. Two of Pentacles. Somebody's weighing their options, but look, it's it's like you're, maybe you have no desire to speak to this person. Maybe they've seen the light. Look, you know, the hermit's taken some time away, right? He's he's introspective. He hermits. That's what the hermit does. Okay, he's a Virgo too, but that's neither here nor there, right? It could be a Virgo or whatever. The real thing with the hermit is that he's taken time away in solitude, and now he finally, he sees the light. You know, he's got a little star in his cage there. Um... And so when that happens, um, you know, a lot of times he, he, he emerges, okay? The hermit's also someone who practices magic, just to let you guys know. So um, somebody could be practicing magic, you know, on you. Somebody could be trying to put magic on you and it's being blocked by your spirit guides. We saw that a lot too. In a work-related situation, again, this would be like a, the job offer that, that you, it's like the one that got away or the one you thought you didn't get or something like that happening and then you, you, it all of a sudden manifesting for you, right? And you don't see it at all with the moon. Like it's, there's something totally hidden. 
totally hidden. You're gonna be shocked, I guess, when this happens. The Knight of Wands reverse, let's see. What's this immature energy, fire sign energy? Someone, again, younger, but not really. I see the Knight of Wands reverse as a grown ass man who's acting like a kid or a woman. Knights are usually masculine, but women can be masculine. Four sword reverse. Somebody needs to speak to you. Somebody wants to be resurrected <laughs> in your life. The King of Cups reverse, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. Somebody's upset. Page of Pentacles reversed. Um, you know, Earth sign energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Let's see. You might have rejected some sort of offer, commitment from someone, or some job offer, opportunity. Again, this is very weird energy. The Chariot reversed Cancer energy now. Um, someone is blocked from traveling, or there's travel that's been canceled. The Chariot reversed is like no forward movement. It's pump the brakes. Um, someone has stopped doing something. Let's see. Two of Swords reversed with the Three of Cups reversed. Possible third party. Friends, okay. Ooh, this could be this, oh yeah. Now I see, okay. So this could be that somebody, see, when they saw the light, the hermit, they also saw people around them for who they were. Wow. And they're upset. I think they chose someone over you, whether it was a third party, whether it was friends, whether it was their lifestyle, it doesn't matter. You know, they chose someone over you and they regret it. They see the light. They see like how dumb that was now. Let me pull one more on this up to a sword reversed. The lovers. Gemini energy, my friends, Gemini energy. But let me tell you, the lovers is like, <laughs> there was a major choice or decision in love. They may be making a major choice or decision in love, but um, it's, you know, this is like divinely led relationship. It's meant to be type of energy. Mm. It could be realizing maybe that they're in love with you, something like that. The sun reversed. Ain't no sunshine when she's gone. That's what it is. That's what it is. <laughs> Temperance, healing, patience, divinely guided. Again, this is your guardian angels. Sagittarius energy, but there's healing there. Let's see what else is going on. Again, though, look at her crown chakra. Look at that, the third eye. She's awakened. She woke the fuck up. See? Somebody woke up. The sun reversed. I mean, it's funny because the sun is reversed first, right? And then we have the clarifier. Look at the sun in the background. <laughs> the sun rises, right? Like, it's like, okay, there was no sunshine before, but now there's... There's sunshine, right? There's hope, there's there's light. The world, oh wow. <laughs> These readings are so insane lately. Okay, the world is the most positive card in the deck. It's it's manifestations coming full circle, okay? It's having all the tools that you need to manifest everything that you want. It's um, karma, it's destiny, it's fate. It's cycles, cycles completing and cycles, you know, beginning as well. The King of Pentacles reverse, earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, possible, right? But this is like a committed partner, masculine energy, I, this is my husband card in the deck. Usually when he comes up, it's like hubby, you know, like hubby energy, but reversed again, this would be X, you know, this would be someone who's non-committal, uh, you know, a shitty partner, basically. Let me see. Someone who projects the King of Pentacles energy to the world, meaning they, they have nice things that they like to show off, 
but when it really comes down to the fundamentals, they ha they're they not stable. They don't have anything really to offer other than nice things, but they use those nice things to fool the world into thinking that they have, you know, that they're so stable and, you know, they're like the, their ego, again, is um, inflated by material possessions is what I'm saying. So um, maybe that's the realization. Let's see. Eight of Swords reverse, freeing themselves from something, getting out of one's head. Two of Pentacles uh, upright, that's gonna be a decision, someone trying to weigh options. I can't do it for too long because this guy's walking backwards and eventually he's gonna trip and stumble into that rough sea. So if he, if he waits too long to drop one of the Pentacles to make a decision or make a choice, um, he's gonna end up in Shit's Creek basically. So let's see what's going on. Um, on one side and in the other, I have to say in one hand and in the other hand. The Ten of Wands reversed or the Ace of Cups reversed? Give me one more on each of those, please. Wow. So I think um, somebody's trying to decide whether or not they want to fight for you. Um, or fight for something, right? Maybe you're trying to decide if you want to fight for the job, right? Or fight for freedom. Eight of Swords reversed is freedom from a situation, freedom from a marriage that's unstable, freedom from a person that's unstable. Um, but really they're thinking like, I don't know if I want to take on this burden. I don't know if I, if I have it in me to fight, you know, for this. Um, they're, they're getting clarity that they, you know, probably have lost you or there's like a missed opportunity here. Ace of Cups reversed. Um, I think what happened was, you know, you have this offer out extended for so long, you know, and they dodged it, you know what I mean? And now the offer is rescinded. And so it's like, oh shit, I thought that offer was going to be there forever. I thought I had unlimited time to get my shit together, you know? Two of Swords reversed. Again, now we see the two, but it's reversed, right? So Two of Swords reversed is going to be same as up here, having made a decision, right? Someone has made a decision or is making a decision. So let's see what that might be. Queen of Wands reversed. Nine of Cups reversed. Two more. Two more. One on each. Someone's jealous, mad, angry. I see the Queen of Wands reverse is like really, really angry or jealous. The Emperor reverse at the Emperor. Ten of Pentacles clarifying the Nine of Cups reverse. It's almost like, you know, Ten of Pentacles is that family energy. It's like um, the house, the kids, the marriage, the everything. It's generational wealth. It's a generational card. Um, you can see the grandparents are here and the baby. <clears throat> so with the Nine of Cups reverse, I mean, this is this is hopes being dashed, dreams being dashed when it's in the reversed, okay? And this was the hope. <clears throat> And it's, you know, there's a decision being made basically based on the fact that someone is angry, you know, angry, angry, angry. Um, Queen of Swords reversed. The Emperor reversed. The Emperor reversed is like the biggest narcissist there is. You know, that's why she's angry. <laughs> like it's, sim it's somebody who's horrible, you know, de degrading, very degrading, demeaning, just a big narcissist, you know. And she's not, she's not gonna take any action towards that kind of energy, the Queen of Wands. No, she holds her head up high. One more on that. 
the wheel of fortune. <laughs> so destiny, fate, karma, okay, uh, is changing. Wheel of fortune is fortunate and faded events, okay? Now when the wheel turns, it's turning, right? So it's bringing things in, it's bringing things together, but it's also taking things out. This is very much eclipse energy. This eclipse could have eclipsed, some, eclipsed someone or something directly out of your life. Whether it was a person, place, or thing, doesn't really matter. Obviously, it had an impact on you. But, 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 my friends, um, understand and, and, and realize there's a bigger purpose, there's a bigger meaning, there's a bigger reason for all of this, right? You will see that. It will be apparent to you. All right. Last card. The Hanged Man. Somebody stuck. Somebody not knowing what to do. Feeling trapped. Now, I'm just looking at this card. There's a storm coming in, and then he's got these locks around the ankles and the wrists. And he's hung up there with a broom. Mm. Oh, but here's the thing. I see it. Look what's in his hand. It's the fucking key. <laughs> he holds the key to freeing himself. Yep. Let's, let's clarify. The Knight of Wands reversed. That's the energy that started this. Remember the Knight of Wands reversed is somebody that did something totally immature, totally irresponsible, totally reckless. What is it? It's Aries A. Sag energy. Let's see. The Knight of Swords. Mm, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. One more. Oh, that's a lot. I want to pull from the big deck. Ace of Cups reversed again. The King of Wands reversed. The Ten of Wands. Well, it's the end of a cycle. I can say that. With the Ten of Wands. Now... To me, this rate this reads okay that you, person watching this video, collective person, you're you're hung up right because of this person's behavior, because of their their past, the way that they have conducted themselves, right? You're you're like you have the key, but you're like no, 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 right? Knight of Swords is somebody that wants to come rushing in or go rushing in. It's it's hasty energy. I mean, it's it's direct. It knows what it wants, I guess. It's, it's made a decision. It's decisive, okay? That definitely means it looks like somebody's getting out of the hanged man decision or the hangman position, or they are freeing themselves from some sort of toxic, you know, behavior or energy, okay? The Knight of Wands reversed. And then there, there's the end of a cycle, okay, with the Ten of Wands. This is like the burdens are too much to bear. One of you, both of you, maybe this relationship couldn't take anything else. That was it. It was the straw that broke the camel's back, you know. Because then you got the King of Wands reversed. Like they didn't, they didn't do it. They didn't take the action. They didn't, they didn't do what they were supposed to do. So it, it's not coming to fruition. Ace of Cups reversed. You know, again that love offer is rescinded. It's um, it's a loss. All right, let's get a couple closing cards and see what. What's coming in for the collective? What does the collective need to know? Messages for the collective, please. The Five of Pentacles reversed. If you have been left out in the cold, if you've been abandoned, if you are feeling destitute or having money problems right now, or just feeling alone, lost and alone like you've been left, 
this is reversed, okay? This means you're coming out of that energy. You're going into Six of Pentacles. There's help on the way, right? Something good is coming in for you. Someone is coming to help you. Whatever it is that you need is coming, okay? Ten of swords reversed <laughs> so um there's a lot of pain a lot of betrayal someone really really hurt you they stabbed you in the back but but the card you know really means that the worst is behind you there's nothing else <laughs> you know coming it's it's the worst is behind you you're on the path to healing um yes it was painful but you will heal you will overcome it justice reversed okay so something may have been unfair or unjust okay but justice is not blind guess she, she saw her she saw that she saw you okay trust me and and when justice comes a call and she she straightens things out so justice reversed is something that was imbalanced it was one-sided okay that card means you know it, it did not go unnoticed okay that person's going to receive their karma whether you see it now or not, all right? But they're feeling it. They know it. It's that Libra energy. Again, Libras have been in hot water. Let me tell you. Sorry, Libras. It's been Libra men. Not Libra women. I've not seen any Libra women in hot water, but I see it all back here because this is what I do for a living. <laughs> all right. The Magician reversed. Oof, somebody manipulated you. Be careful for magic again. Yes. Whatever was taken from you will be replaced. You have a windfall coming. You have um, a blessing, a gift. You have commitment. You have something. Whatever it is you want, your wishes are coming true, collective. Okay, these right, these wrongs that, that happened to you from this magician reverse, justice reverse energy, whatever uprooting was done in your life, it's because someone needed to bring, it needed to be cleared away. Okay, so let's just say, for instance, you ended up having to move over it and you were upset about the loss of the house or the property, okay? It doesn't matter because you're about to get something way better, okay? Look at this. This is like the property that you've always wanted. It's something like that. Whatever was taken from you, disregard it okay yeah and i know that sounds crazy and it's hard to imagine right now but there's something being brought in for you collective that is so much better and it could not be brought in if the other thing was still standing in your way i promise you i promise you that okay you wouldn't have taken it but it's coming and there's nothing going to be blocking you from taking that not one thing okay i'll talk to you soon collective i love you if you need a personal reading or spell or a product, or you want a sample of the Psychic Intuition Oil. Link in the description. Talk to you guys later. Bye.